Hey there, what's going on guys, Kirby here, and today I'm going to talk about an insanely popular Minecraft com uh, topic in the Minecraft community over the last couple of days. I know many people have posted videos on this, but I wanted to share my views on it. Of course, Mojang has yet to release anything official, and it's been on talk, but as you can guess, I'm talking about the EULA, which it says in my title. <laughs> of course, um... A lot of this talk is been just based off what we've read in a copy and paste Skype conversation in Pastebin, what we've read on Reddit, and what we've read on Twitter. Now I understand that there are two sides to this conversation, the ones who support it and the ones who do not. Or in a more accurate description, Mojang versus the community as many people are calling it. I'm going to start with the views on both sides of the situation because it's only fair to explain both sides and after that I'll say my thoughts on the situation. I'll make sure to add some annotations to each section of the video but I recommend listening and hearing about both sides it's only fair to understand where Mojang is coming from and where the community is coming from. So this could get kind of interesting. Alright, so at this point as I said Many of you know what is being said about the EULA or EULA which stands for End User License Agreement. Basically as a short description, people cannot sell Minecraft related content. So in other words, this means that servers cannot sell in-game perks and the donations have to be just that, donations with nothing in return and pretty much anyone but video makers can't make money directly off of Minecraft related content. In terms of the way servers have always been working, it's been illegal the entire time. <laughs> Mojang wants to find a way for servers to make money without them breaking rules of the EULA. Now Mojang has turned their head away from the way servers have been making money the whole time and members of Mojang have just begun now to speak out about it. I'm sure they've said stuff in the past about it and they haven't really enforced anything and they've just been letting it happen to this point. As I said, right now donations to servers are more of a purchase of in-game perks and items rather than just giving money to servers to keep it running and some of the people in Mojang don't like this. And they've certainly made that clear, especially Grum with some of the comments he's made in the Skype chat and um, other people on Twitter as well. Now, it is still unclear what the official decision about the EULA will be, so we'll have to wait and see about that. And I don't want to get too far into how a new EULA will affect servers, artists, and uh, developers without knowing exactly what a new EULA will state I'm just gonna stay away from saying what it'll what it'll say and how it could um, how they could change it stuff like that now um, I will however point out reasons why Mojang may want to change the way they enforce the EULA or change the way it's worded or even completely change it as a whole um, as I've gathered information by looking over tweets, Reddit, and the massive Skype chat I was talking about, I've come to a couple conclusions. What they're saying is that they don't want people making money off something they have created, as I already spoke about. They're not saying that they don't think it's correct, they're saying that they don't want people doing it illegally rather than they don't want people to make money off of it. So they they're not saying that they don't want people to make money off of it. They're saying that they don't want people making money off it illegally in ways that they don't promote. So, you can't sell their product. And in a way, that's understandable because that's how most games and companies work. You can't sell something that you don't make. Mojang wants Minecraft to be more of a one-time payment rather than having people pay for in-game perks or say buy something rather than 
um, just be given it from a developer. Uh, I'll get into more of that on the Minecraft community section of the video. Grum also mentioned that there will be a way for server owners to make money, but it is going to be a way that Mojang feels is more just and correct than offering perks and items for donation. Now what this means, I don't know, it, it was it's still unclear, and as I said, we're going to have to wait and see what it means. And after putting a little thought into this, Mojang has recently begun to push their new realm server. Could this be in connection to that? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see, and I don't want to jump into any conclusions until an official announcement is made about the EULA. In the end, Mojang can do whatever they want. And they will. Um, so Mojang has reasons for possibly changing around things. And I'm sure their reasons are just as correct as what the Minecraft community is saying. And so let's go ahead and move on to what the Minecraft community has to say about this. With this topic becoming a lot more public in recent days, the Minecraft community <laughs> became a bit outraged. And I can say that I read a lot of harsh tweets and even some bigger YouTubers who many kids in the Minecraft community look up to were trying to get people to calm down a little bit as harsh words don't really help a situation. Now, in recent days, Mojang servers got DDoS and many petitions were created against the EULA. And I will admit, even I had a few things to say by just going off what I heard rather than looking into it and of course I decided to look into it a bit more and here I am now through much of this chaos many people have had brilliant points to point out and many people just tried to fight for what they believed was correct server owners throughout the minecraft community have been fighting for what they believe is already a perfect situation. They believe the system isn't broke and it shouldn't be fixed. Donations or purchases of items is the main funds for large servers and small servers. Without these funds, these servers wouldn't exist. And many also feel that if YouTubers can make money off the game, why can't server owners or artists or developers? And server owners put a lot of time into developing new mini games, updating their servers, dealing with customer support. We all know that the Minecraft community tends to be a little bit of work, and server owners need to put a lot of their time into dealing with customer support. Man, the owners don't want all this hard work to go to waste, and they want their work recognized as well. Servers don't come cheap, paying for a host, paying for coders, paying for developers, paying for custom plugins, and even DDoS protection, it all costs money. So, they need to make money somehow, and apparently, this entire time it has been illegal according to the EULA. Now, most servers do the their work legitly, and do it through hard work and a few charge crazy prices for things which is what my mojang tends to be seeing rather than seeing the servers that do it legit the minecraft community as a whole sees people who are working hard and legit so people that play minecraft recognize that there are people that work hard and i'm sure mojang sees it too but they still often see the ones who aren't doing it legit. Many people just don't want to change. They want to continue to keep earning money the way they have been earning money, whether that is developers, server owners, or artists. But through it all, most of them just don't want to lose their servers. That not only goes for the server owners, but that goes for many people who 
play on these servers as well. The ones who have donated and the ones who have not. Woody's Gamertag explained in his video that he posted yesterday that people that play on his servers are happy whether they donate or they don't donate. He feels it is a perfect situation for people to have fun. They can buy stuff if they'd like to, or they can earn it in game. It is their choice. So, a lot of people feel that the game is based around servers that are similar to Woody's at this point in time, and they believe that a change in the EULA, many servers will die off because of a change. And that is not something that the Minecraft community wants to see. So both sides have their arguments. Does this mean that either one of them is correct? Well, there isn't really an answer to the question because both sides have valid arguments and both sides have valid points. But I do have an opinion on what this could do to Minecraft as a whole. Or rather, I have some thoughts for Mojang I'd like to share because it could impact their game and their company. I truly don't want anything bad to happen as I love Minecraft and I love the job that Mojang has done. As most of us know, Minecraft gained and is still gaining much of its popularity from countless amounts of videos posted on YouTube every day. Many of these YouTube videos from large YouTubers and small YouTubers are played on servers, whether they're playing mini games or they're playing survival with friends, or even if they're making trolling videos like ZexyZek, which brings up another topic that Mojang had to deal with, but I don't want to get into that today. Anyways, what I'm leading up to is that the community, in a sense, built Minecraft to what it is today. Without people like Captain Sparkles or Skyless Minecraft or the Yogg's Cast, the game wouldn't be as big of a f uh, phenomenon as it is today. Without big YouTubers and even the small YouTubers like myself playing on these servers and spreading them throughout the internet, the amount of people playing Minecraft would probably be lower than it is today. So without servers, there would be no huge YouTubers that play mini games, factions, or any other game type. And there would be no huge phenomenon as we know as Minecraft. Without big servers like Woodycraft, Hypixel, The Hive, Project R's, Mineplex, Minecraft would probably be dead, honestly. And the game that Mojang offers is still fun but it's also limited. So what I mean by this is that they offer us a base for the game. In a sense, I mean, you get what I'm coming from. With that, with the base, people will code things and create things that in turn servers end up using. If Minecraft was just survival mode and a few other limited things the game offers, it would probably get boring for a lot of people. Especially the people who only play things like minigames or factions. Everyone has played survival and everyone has built stuff in creative mode on their own, but that gets old after a while. It's simply not fun just to play survival mode or creative mode and... I understand that Mojang doesn't want servers scamming people or making loads of money for selling their game, but they need to understand, without all these big servers, their game wouldn't be a game that has impacted so many people's lives. There are plenty of servers that are scammed, but this is where people need to use their common sense and not buy ranks that are ridiculous. I think the system itself is fine. and. Mojang should just keep looking the other way from what servers are doing at this moment in time. Minecraft is still one of the most popular games, if not the most popular game in the world, and if Mojang doesn't want that to change, they should probably not make any huge changes. The game itself, because of survival mode, 
and single player isn't popular because of that. It's popular because the community has made it popular. Without these servers, and I mean this wholeheartedly, Minecraft would be boring like I said. The most I play on single player now is adventure maps, and even those I prefer, prefer to play with friends, often on the Hypixel server, which many people donate to to keep running, and Hypixel has made a lot of money off of it. I spend a lot of time helping run a server. Now, it's a small server, and many of you that are watching this video know that. I happen to meet the server owner while playing on multiplayer, and I consider him a good friend at this point. I donated to his server multiple times, not because I wanted the perks, but because I know that my money will go into good use, and I know that the perks I receive will be worth the money that I give. And I can say I've made tons of awesome relationships on servers that stay open because of these donations or purchases that they receive. Most kids that are young, young to me at least, like 10 to 13 years old, won't just donate their parents money to a server. They will want something in return, and with that age group being a huge part of the Minecraft community, many people and many servers will lose money and they will lose donations. Mojang has their reasons and I respect their reasons now I just don't want I just don't know if they are the best decisions for the game and their company but like I said we're going to have to get some more information to see what happens before I really start freaking out about it right now we wait and hope it turns out for the best interest in, of the community and for Mojang if servers can't offer um, purchases I don't know where Minecraft will be headed all I can say is that if it does in fact change the way Minecraft servers are run they'll start to die out I sure hope Mojang has plans for the realm servers if um, they don't accept servers to make donations because I'll sure be miss I'll sure miss playing on my favorite servers and I know a lot of people will miss playing on servers like the Mindplex and the Hive. So Mojang, please don't let this change our game. Yes, I say our game because it has become the game that the community um a game that you have let the community Built and we've built Minecraft to what it is together, the community and Mo Mojang. Let's please not ruin something that is great. I hope everything works out, and I hope Mojang's official announcement is what the community wants to hear. I hope we can all take a deep breath and start getting along with Mojang again. Until then, let's all relax and start with and stop some of the harsh words that are being said and we just need to wait and see what happens then we can react fully although in reality I know a lot of people will still bash them and just swear at them so that doesn't matter and I I can agree with them and I can agree with their frustration but we need to sit back and just let it play out first now let's just hope we end up being happy and not incredibly upset Let's hope this situation works itself out and we can go back to worrying about if our servers have bugs or the next mini game we're going to develop or the next person we need to make art for um, and not have to worry about this new EULA. Let's hope that we can figure out this all soon and let's hope that everything works out for both sides in this situation. So with that, I say good luck Mojang, and good luck to the rest of the Minecraft community as well. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.
She's staying high almost all the time, another party almost every night High heels and makeup, every week she's on another flight Goes around, always comes around, that's her own life motto Sunday California, Monday in Chicago But it's cool, I'll see her soon